Time to go storm the desert. Or at least sneak my way through as best as I can. Our Zapona to the land of women. The Gerudos. But no, really, uh... I, <laughs> I don't do as well as I thought I'd do here. Uh, and I have never really liked stealth sections in games that aren't very stealth. I don't like stealth sections in games that aren't stealth based, you know? Not that that's really an excuse, but... Go faster. Yeah, seriously. Whoa! That is still an awesome thing. Now I must leave Epona here. And I don't know why I'm singing or why I'm talking to this guy again. Yeah, I gotta rescue his carpenters. So we get, I could have sworn there was supposed to be a gold sculpture level right about there. I guess not. Or maybe it was like on the other side. I know there was supposed to be one around here somewhere. I'll get it later. Gosh, shut the fuck up, Navi. <sighs> so, um... Uh, yeah. Gotta go rescue the carpenters. Try not to get seen. I think I get caught on purpose near the start. Or maybe I just... I don't remember. Even though I recorded this last night, the gameplay. I think I get caught on accident, actually. Let's see. Let's watch and learn. Yeah, so they have... So, yeah. It's kind of weird how you can't kill these people. Oh, what? Oh, I guess I don't get caught at first. That's good. one I did. Yeah, I go in the wrong door here. I'm supposed to go on the other side to get to the first carpenter, and that kind of bites me in the butt later. But also, this door does lead to another one. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. It is. Yeah, you can't skip their dialogue, even though they all say the same shit. Try pressing A, try pressing B, doesn't matter, doesn't change at all. <sighs> no, you won't. All you'll do is build a bridge game, but that doesn't do shit. Eh? Oh, hey. Sup? Nice scimitars. Scimitars? Scimitars? Oh. Gotta find these people, find these women as a bitch. Always blocking and guarding, and apparently, I I could have sworn Deku Nuts were a bit more effective against these guys. But they can block against it, I guess. Why is it whenever I block my eyes against it that I get blinded anyway? Whatever. <laughs> Jeez. Good thing she survived that. Jeez. Made of fucking. Uh, I'm trying to think of what Wolverine's claws are made out of. And his bones. I should know this. Ah, whatever. You know what I mean. Please stop dancing like that. It really disturbs me. Yeah, we were really... Yeah, why would you try to join their all-female group? What did you think was going to happen? Yeah, I'm sure they would just accept us. Us big old fatty fats. Oh, well. Yeah, at least you tried. But how do they get, how do the carpenters get out though? How do they sneak past the guards? Or do the guards just like, eh, fuck it. They're not worth it. Just let them go. Yeah, I always thought, was, I always thought like all female societies like this were weird. Because they like hate men, but they have to rely on men to survive. To, you know, reproduce. And of course they follow a man. They follow Ganondorf. Yeah, all men are useless. It, Except for our king, the one we follow without question. But aside from that. And then again, I guess Gandorf isn't quite human, but they don't know that. It wasn't even a thing in this game. But yeah, bow and arrows stun these guys longer than the hook shot, I'm pretty sure. Long shot. And I miscalculate here. I accidentally go onto the wrong beam. Should have gone to the one before this one. I was hoping she would say turn around, but... No. <laughs> what the hell, Navi? Just like, oh, oh, fuck, I got caught. I'm not gonna fight back. Like, seriously, what the hell? Doesn't even bother trying to fight back. He's just like, fuck, I got caught. No, no struggling. I got tagged. I'm it. Or whatever. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I tried to do a little glitch here. I saw that can get you on top of this little thing. You have to, like... 
hook shot the corner, but it, and you would, like clip through the corner and climb to the top of this little structure, but I couldn't quite get I couldn't get the angle quite right, so I just gave up after another try. Yeah. I don't know, I couldn't do it. Doesn't really matter. It saves a little time, but that's about it. Gets me to that chest up there. It allows me to reach a chest that's up there, but can't really see it from this angle, unfortunately. Let's see. You know, for a, a group of thieves, they have a very uh, disturbing lack of treasure. They don't have any rupees, they don't have any bars of gold. They got nothing. And also, they have no peripheral vision. And also, but at least they're immune to arrows. Yeah, that's a pretty useful skill to have. I wish I was in. How, could, how come I can't climb this? It's barely higher than any other ledges I climb up. I call it bullshit. I call it B to the S. Yeah, I get a little lost in here. Even though I have the guidebook, which is really pathetic. I can. No, oh, excuse me. I can never remember the the like the uh yeah. See, I was trying to get up here, so I could uh long shot over to that treasure chest. But anyway, like I was saying, um, I always get lost in this place because all the entrances are the same, the hallways look the same. It's hard to memorize it for me. Hooray! Yeah, just a heart piece in the middle of you know just there. Okay, so I have a completed heart piece, so I have eight heart pieces left to get. Cause, uh, and one heart container from the Spear Temple, so. That's good. Yeah, I think there's there's probably gonna be five videos left. Uh, after this, after, after this one. The next video, I'll probably be doing the Spear, child, the Spear Temple as a child. Then the next video will be as an adult. One last collect-a-thon video. And then probably two videos to go through uh, Ganon's castle and get to the end of the game. That's my estimate, at least. Yeah, I should be able to get all the stuff I need in one more Clackathon video. Eight heart pieces, like, I don't know, less than 20 gold sculptulas. Milan's uh, obstacle course, I guess. The big pose. The great fairies. Yeah, none of that stuff should take more than, you know, a minute or two each. So I should be able to get it all done in one video. Yeah, the one heart piece, the, the heart piece I'm, like, looking for, I'm, like, dreading the most is the one from Damp's Graveyard, where you have to play the stupid digging minigame. I hate that. It's such a pain in the ass. Because it's random. There's no real trick to it. You just gotta keep trying and hope you don't fuck up basically. I, ha I hate luck-based minigames, and especially if you have to, if you want to get, like, a heart piece or something out of it. If it's a luck-based minigame to get, like, money, that's one thing. But if you need it, need it in order to get, you know, a heart piece or some other collectible, then it just becomes a pain in the ass. Yeah, not, yeah, I don't think, I'm not sure if I should be in here. I don't know. I got I got a little bit lost. I suck. I I hate sneaking sections so much, especially in situations like this where I'm fully like armed and dangerous. So there's no reason why the Gerudo should be able to capture me. Like when there's like one Gerudo, it's like stop where you are. It's like okay, I have a sword, arrows, a shield. Why can't I not just beat you up? It's Navi, some sort of like uh, gentlemanly type. Ooh, I can't hurt her because she's a woman. I, I never liked characters like that. It's like, oh, even though she's trying to kill me, I won't fight back because she's a woman. It's like, shut the fuck up. You're such a pussy. Eh. Whatever. Moral codes, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't really make much sense. Yeah, again, you can't skip the dialogue. You have to sit through it all. All they hear about the carpenters. And their imprisonment. I like his I like his afro though, it's pretty nice. Yeah, how how do they know I'm in here? Are they just like on like lashed to the ceiling waiting for me? I like to imagine this is the same guard every time. Because her outfit's the same. So I I like to imagine it's the same one you're fighting every time. Yeah, I completely forgot about this. 
If you get hit by that spin attack even once, you get sent to jail for no real reason. It's honestly very stupid. I hate I hate that concept. Yeah, okay, I got hit once, so I automatically get thrown in jail? That's bullshit. Yeah, I com I completely forgotten about that. I forgot that was a thing that happens. So, but it doesn't happen again. Yeah, I'm on the lookout for it now. Yeah, and again, a good, it's a good thing these Gerudos are arrow-proof. Or else, or else there would be a bloodbath here. Bam, right in the neck. Yeah, oh well. I guess there was probably some sort of censorship issue with killing human beings. Which I guess makes sense. Because none of the other creatures you kill are human. Or maybe there aren't any more. Dun, 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 dun. Like Stalfos or possibly Redeads. I don't know. I remember like in like the Smash Brothers game, their trophy uh, things say that they are made of clay. Their trophy descriptions, but I'm not sure how canon you should consider that. I mean, on one hand, it's a non-canon game, but on the other hand, it's one that's made by Nintendo, so they wrote the trophy descriptions. So how canon are you supposed to consider it? You know? Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I guess take it with a grain of salt. Or whatever. But yeah, this place is a lot easier if you go through the Shadow Temple first. Just the Spirit Temple area in general. And you do need the Lens of Truth, so you gotta go to the bottom of the well. Which is basically the mini dungeon before the Shadow Temple. Aha! So what, she was just waiting for me politely? That's nice. Yeah, I don't usually use much strategy with these chicks. I just swing my sword and hope I land a hit. And usually it works! Yeah, I was hoping to stun her. Oh, I, that was a nice maneuver, but it was a complete accident. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I dodged an attack by getting latched onto that torch. Which is hilarious, but totally by accident. Yeah, but I, I, I like to imagine this is the same guard every time. I just keep kicking her ass like four times. Yeah, I, I, for some reason I tried to talk to him instead of opening the damn door. Yeah, okay, don't ever say that again. He's 17, man. You're like 40, probably. What? Why would you think you'd ever be a good thief in the first place? You're, you're all overweight and stuff. And you're a wimp. And again, I have to question how they even get out of here. I guess the guards just really don't give a shit. Now, you know what? We captured you once. You're kind of useless. Let's just leave you there. Uh, I wonder what plans the Gerudos have for those carpenters, though. Forcing them to give them more children? That would suck. <laughs> yes, that would totally suck. Yeah. It was poor... Those poor carpenters. Okay, let's try to get through this. I also do the uh, Gerudo training grounds in this video. And there's no real point to it. The ice arrows are borderline useless, but I decided to do it anyway. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, here I'm just checking the guidebook, checking to see where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Because I'm an idiot. But, um, yeah, the training grounds aren't that hard. I don't. I don't recall ever actually doing them. Like, I vaguely remember having a file that had the ice arrows in them, but I don't recall ever actually doing the training grounds. Or maybe they're just, like, very forgettable. It's really not that. It's not, like, really difficult. It's more tedious than anything, in my opinion. Yeah, but now let's do this room right. Yeah, I was just checking to make sure how many raptors I was supposed to, uh, you know, count off. It's the third one, I think. Yeah, third one. All right. Yeah, it's a good thing, again, they have no peripheral vision. And apparently they're also deaf. You can't hear him going, Kip! Chip! Eggy! What a noise. I don't know what's... I don't feel like now. And, uh, gotta go down there, I think. Hello, Navi. You're looking very nice this evening. 
Checking your boots. Stop playing with yourself. Yeah, I was just making double sure that's the door I wanted to go into. Didn't want to, you know, go into some place that was completely useless to me. Shh, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Gerudo women. Ugh, that sounded kind of creepy. I'm hunting down the women. I will feast tonight. Yeah. But really, it's not that difficult. It's more tedious and annoying than anything. And there's the third guy. Yeah, I can see you. You don't need to call me over. Are these guys like uh, uh, quadruplets or whatever? Because they look pretty much the same, aside from, their hair, aside from the hairdo. You know, maybe if you didn't warn me about the guards, they wouldn't come. Because it seems like they only come after you warn me. Just saying. Ah, third time's a charm, huh? <laughs> oh god, not you again. <laughs> I don't get my ass kicked again. Yeah, but... Yeah, do not want to get hit by a spin attack again. Fuck that shit. That's, that's so cheap and bullshit. Oh, I got hit by this one attack, so now I'm instantly knocked out for some reason. Yeah, maybe she shouldn't keep her keys, like... I don't know. Wherever she's keeping her keys is not a very good spot, because... Oh, thank God I know your name. I feel connected to you now, Saburu. Sab Saburo? Don't call me boy. Well, then again, I guess as long as he's not calling me cute. Like, seriously, like, Navi's 17. You're, like, in your 40s, probably. Don't call me cute. That's weird. Eh. Eh. Whatever. I mean, whatever floats your boat, I guess. But it's just that he's, it's just that Navi's young, you know? So it makes it kind of creepy. He's a little too young. I can't believe it's still nighttime. I mean, I know pe night doesn't pass while I'm inside, but still, it feels like it should be daybreak right now. And you die, and you also die because I'm feeling, I don't know, arrow something. I don't know. Arrow happy or whatever, you know, instead of trigger happy. Oh, hey, look, a carpenter. Didn't expect that. What kind of hairdo is that? Not very good. I feel like I've heard this before. Yeah, again, there, there's like no beds, no treasure hoard. This is a shitty hideout, and these are shitty thieves. Just saying. I mean, aside from that heart piece, there's really nothing here of value. And the ice arrows, I guess. But who wants the, Well, those are pretty useless, too. It's like, seriously, I can't think of a single time where ice arrows are actually useful. I mean, they can freeze enemies, but aside from that, they're not useful in the least. You don't need them to solve any puzzles. You don't need them to beat any dungeons. You don't need them to beat any enemies. They're completely optional. I heard that the desert has sand in it. <laughs> yes, thank you. You're very helpful. Why would they be talking about that? Did you also know that uh, Dodongos dislike smoke? Yeah, I'll find something useful there. <laughs> I'm so sure. Oh, hey, ha what, the, what the fuck did you get there? But yeah, uh, not really a well, no, not really a well guarded secret, but sh her outfit will change in accordance to Link's tunic. So if I was wearing the the Goron or Zora tunic, she'd have red or blue clothing instead. Which I think is a nice touch, I guess. Why would she have her headquarters all the way over there? Well, I didn't... Okay. I guess I should, probably should say yes. But I thought Grudos didn't like men. Oh, well. Yeah, I was seeing if she said anything different, but it's just the same old bullshit. Does that... Does that Gerudo have a specific name? Any, something to think of it? I mean, she seen, she's like the second... In, or the third in command. After Naburu. Naburu? I don't know. I don't know. I always pronounce it Naburu. Naburu. Ah. The training ground. 
Yeah, it's, again, it's more tedious than difficult, really. And I, ne I never really bothered with it, for the most part. Because the ice arrow is, com again, the ice arrow is completely useless. Anyway. Alright, let's do this. So I'm going to be going through all the rooms and showing you how to get all eight keys. Or nine, I think. Who's talking to me? Navi the fairy, is that you talking to me? Tell me cryptic shit. I don't appreciate it. Uh-huh. So I got to beat that boy trap, eh? I think I can handle that. Oh, so how do they even capture Stalfos and keep them in here anyway? Yeah, like how the hell would they even... How would you go about doing that? And Stalfos only really appear in temples. That's really it. They have no natural habitat. They're skeletons. I guess they got into the forest temple somehow. Even though they don't have any long shots or anything. But then and they can jump pretty high. They can jump good. So I suppose that's one thing. Open the door, Navi. You know you want to. I was just checking to make sure. I, I, I Again, I was using my guidebook here. Just to see what kind of other shit I had to go through. Ah, yes. The Jewels of Light. Otherwise known as Rupees. Yes, I have heard of them. I hear they're very, uh... How much are they even worth? Let's see. Okay, five rupees. So basically the same as the blue rupee. I hate firewalls. They always get me. Every goddamn time, these firewalls get me. I hate it. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, you're kind of thinking the gorillas are kind of underused, if you really think about it. I think they only appear in this game, Majora's Mask, and then Breath of the Wild. As far as I'm aware, those are the only games they appear in. I can't think of anything else. I don't know. And Majora's Ma I like the more Majora's Mask, where they are pirates instead of uh, desert thieves. I thought that was really cool. Well, not really cool, but kind of. And they were a lot easier to deal with in that game, thanks to the stone mask, I tell you what. Thank god for that mask. Yeah, when I eventually go through Majora's Mask, I'm totally gonna use the stone mask for the pirate hideout. Yeah, also, uh, uh, wall master. You know, just chilling. Again, how they managed to capture this thing and keep it in here. It's beyond me. Yeah, not every room gets you a key. Some just lead to other rooms that can get you keys. I said that very oddly. Can get you keys. <sighs> yeah, but this place is just kind of boring, honestly. There's not a lot of... Vin There's not a lot... Of well, that... The, no, I guess the only real interesting thing here is the Dynaphos. I'm pretty sure that this is the only place in the, this game that they appear. I think they appear more in Master Quest, but I'm not really sure. Oh, this room's a fucking bitch. I hate it. I guess it's... I guess it's the, uh... It's, um... What's the word? This room's a bitch. It makes sense because it's all wolves or whatever. Yeah, they they'll spawn infinitely, so killing them's not yeah you know, doesn't really help. Yeah. You just got. I'm very bad at aiming under pressure, so I get my ass kicked by these guys and almost die. I hate it. Yeah, I was trying to get them to, like swipe, which will like stun them for a second, so I can go over and look shot. I just get my ass fucking handed to me by these guys. I just get fucking raped. Yeah, the guidebook said that they spawn infinitely, so killing them is completely useless. I was tempted to use Din's fire and see if that would help, but... In the end, I didn't really need it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Finally, jeez. Ugh. Yes, after a thousand years, I finally get. I finally got through. It's been 3,000 years. That was it, right? It was 3,000? That little Pokemon May May. Yeah, this room's pretty easy. As long as you're good with a bow. Or otherwise decent with it. And the guidebook was like, oh, this room's almost impossible. You gotta be so precise. Oh, you know, it's difficult. It's like, okay, not that hard. Yeah, again, the guidebook's very, like, it's very, uh, um, the one I have is very, uh, like, I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, nonchalant? Um, 
I guess. Not unprofessional, I suppose. I mean, it's so helpful, and I don't really care. It's just, I find it hilarious. Yeah, just gotta hit these four. You had, you had to hit them within one rotation. Because if you don't, then they, uh, they'll just reset. Yeah, I forgot about this statue. It's kind of weird. Never seen anything like it. There's nothing else like this statue in any other part of the game. Or in any other Zelda game, really. Don't know why I really took the time to notice that. Yeah, but, uh, apparently you're supposed to be able to summon Pierre into this room. But I tried, but it wouldn't work. Yeah, and I actually finally managed to figure out how to actually get him to, you know, start appearing. You know, I forgot I had to talk to him as an adult at Lake Hylia. You know, and I, you know, I did summon him in my collectathon video, the second one. But yeah, the guidebook says he should appear up there, but no, he just doesn't. He just doesn't spawn. I don't know what the deal is. I, I can't get any closer to that part of the ledge. So it's not like I... So surely range isn't the issue here, right? Eventually, I, had to, I just have to take the long way around. Because up there, where Pierre would help you get... Uh, get to if he would fucking appear uh, Takes you to another place with a small key. I Don't think you really even need all the small keys to get to the ice arrows But it helps and I do it anyway just to beat this place as best as I can yep. so I, move, I just have to take the long way around to later on Ugh, I don't like this place. It's very obnoxious. I mean, it's easy, but it's kind of obnoxious, too. Oh, well, it's not really a secret if you tell me about it, now, is it? And after all this time, the keys still get me. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's overkill, isn't it? Just a bit. jeez. Oh, Using a sword that big to kill a bat. That's fucked up. But kind of funny. And also fire slugs. But they're not as important, or as memorable. Oh boy, I wonder what's in the chest. I hope it's treasure. I hope it's a mountain of gold. Nah, just some sticks with feathers and met, uh, pointy bits at the end. Um, how would they even, how would the Gerudos normally get through this room? They don't have the Megaton hammer. Unless they have some other way to, you know, dispel the statues. Which, uh, I wonder what it is. Yeah, how, how do the gorillas get through this place, anyway? Like, some parts require things that they don't have. Like, again, the Megaton Hammer. Or, I don't know, it doesn't seem like they have arrows. None of them have, well, they do have an archery range. Yeah, I gotta get the biggest quiver, but I'm gonna do that in the third compilation video, probably. Yeah, I went through the wrong door like an idiot. But did you see that though? The fire ring was back for a brief second, but then it's gone. Yeah, how how did I get through this room? Well, I guess they are pretty agile, so I guess it's not too much of a stretch. I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? Not really worth questioning. Just something like I've got to do to pass the time. Cause really, this place is very under- there's really nothing of interest in this place, aside from the ice arrows, which aren't really interesting in the first place. <laughs> yeah, glad you could come bark at me like that, Mr. Uh, skeleton Head. Which would be a skull. Yeah, the green- uh, not returns green because you had to play the song of time to summon some blocks, which I do the second time around through this room, I think. I do it. I, I get all the keys. I'm like 99% sure I get all the keys in this place. I'm pretty sure there's only like nine. And I'm pretty sure I get that many. Ugh. Yeah, I completely forgot that there was a wreath of fire over that uh, rupee, so things don't go too well. Yep, there I go. Into the lava I go. Oh, well, at least uh, Link dies, or Navi dies as he lived. Very, very hot. Or something. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I always gotta look through the lens of truth, see if there's anything interesting. Even though 99% of the time, there isn't anything. 
Like, seriously, what is with the Lens of Truth? It doesn't even show that much, honestly. It's outside the Shadow Temple and the bottom of the well, there's really nothing of interest it shows you. For the most part. Well, there is the guide through the desert. That one weird Poe. But aside from that, it doesn't really reveal much outside of temples. Well, at least you can't see through clothes with it. That would not be good. <laughs> the, the, the adventure would never get done if uh, Navi if Navi discovered that secret. Um. Uh. Okay. Okay. Apparently, brain. Uh, uh. Past me had a brain aneurysm. Now, why do they keep these fish in here anyway? There's nothing for them to eat. They're just starving. These poor fish. I guess someone has to come in and feed them. And this fucking clam bake. I'm pretty sure you can't use dense fire underwater. I mean, that would make sense. So I didn't even think to try it. Because that would take care of all these guys in a snap. Yeah, there's some sort of weird whirlpool here. Yeah, see? It doesn't, like, visibly appear, so it's hard to know where it is. Exactly, it's very obnoxious. Yeah, yeah, I got your whatever it is clams eat right here. Yeah. I don't know. What do clams eat? Small microorganisms? I don't fucking know. Plankton? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a marine biologist. Or any kind of biologist. Nor am I a marine, so there we go. I got all the bases not covered. Yeah, this room's just annoying. I hate water. Oh god, the Iron Boots. I'm getting Water Temple flashbacks. I feel like a fucking non war vet, you know? Oh god, the Iron Boots, man. You just don't understand. I, was, I Bullshit. I totally got that one. You saw it, right? Like, half my body went through that rupee. I call bullshit. Pure, unadulterated bullshit. Why you gotta cheat me, game, huh? Why you gotta cheat me out of my money? I don't like that. I don't like getting cheated out of my money. I'll have you know. Yeah, I just... I, 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 just uh, I hate this whirlpool. It's like, seriously, bullshit. It sweeps me off, like, right away. At least it let me know there was one up here. I completely forgot about that one. So, uh... Yeah. Gerudos, huh? How about them Gerudo women, eh? <coughs> They're a wily bunch, ain't they? Yeah, but really though, I feel like they could be in more games. I think that'd be kind of fun. It would give, give us more races to work with, aside from the Gorons. Like, the Gorons are pretty, like, the... I think the Gorons, aside from the Hylians, of course, I think the Gorons are, like, the peaceful, or at least neutral race that appear the most. I think. It feels that way. More than Zoras, definitely. Because they appear in the Wind Waker. Which has no Zoras. Which makes sense. Yeah, I remember thinking about that when the game first came out. I'm like, why are there no Zoras? The whole world is covered in ocean. So the Zoras should be, you know, should be all over the place. But it makes sense because the goddesses don't want anyone to discover a Hyrule underneath the ocean. Yeah, I'm going to talk about spoilers. It's, it's like, how old is it? It's probably a decade old, at least. You know, it's a pretty old game. So, yeah, bullshit with the... With the yeah, I, I do go back and get that one key in that room eventually. I just thought I did it sooner. But yeah, Dynaphos. They're like Lizaphos, but a bit more powerful, and they can breathe fire. That's about it. They're really not that special. And I'm pretty sure this is the only time in the entire game where they appear. Which makes me wonder why they bothered making an... Why they bother including them? They're just gonna be in this one room. Oh well, not my fault. Not my problem. They're dead. The species is now extinct. Okay, so I got another like three keys. To, yeah, one of the keys is in the like little maze near the end. So I gotta wait till I'm there before I can get it. Yeah, so now I gotta go back around and um, get the uh, keys I missed. 
What am I doing here? Anywho. I guess I was seeing if there were other doors or something? I don't know. Again, I, I, I don't have any real memories of this place. Like, I knew it existed. I knew you got the ice arrows from it, but I never really remember going through it at all. Even though, again, I did have... <laughs> God damn that firewall. You know, I do have memories of, getting, of having the ice arrows in my inventory. Don't recall ever using them, that's for sure. Oh god, not this room again. Get the fuck out of here. No, oh god. Get me out of here. Thankfully, I don't have as much trouble in this room as the other. As, yeah, there. That was it. Ugh, holy vey. What a pain in the ass. Fucking wolfos. No wonder you barely appear in any Zelda games. Yeah, they really don't. They only appear in, like, like this game, Majora's Mask. And that's all I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sure they appear in at least one or two more, but not that I can recall. They're not in Twilight Princess, are they? I don't think they are. I'm pretty sure they're not. Oh, wait. No, there are wolves, but are they wolf -os or just wolves? I don't know. Yeah, I noticed there's a... Yeah, now that I think about it, there's a couple enemies that have the foes. Like, little ending. You know, stall foes, lizard foes, dino foes, wolf foes. What's the deal with that? What is, what is foes? What does that mean? Does that mean anything? Is that some, like, does that mean anything in Japanese? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't speak Japanese. It'd be useful, but no, I don't. If, if I had one superpower, I think it would be to... Mm, actually, no. I was about to say, if I had one superpower, I'd be able to uh, learn any language instantly. Uh, well, it could open up a lot of job opportunities, now that I think about it. It would be useful in the long run. Probably. Yeah, but see, now I have eight keys, and there's one more in the in the maze, in the final maze. So I, I'm pretty sure I have them all. I get them all at some point. Oh, oh, no. No, okay, never mind. It's just bomb shoes. Huh, I could have sworn you got a key from this room. Or maybe it's... Uh, oh, oh, is it, is it, no, wait, this one was arrows, I think, or rupees. Let's see. Arrows. Okay, because one I got, uh, hmm. Are there only eight keys in this place? I don't know. Oh, well, we'll see. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yes, the suspension is surely killing you. I know it's killing me. Uh, yeah, I don't like this place. I can tell you if I ever play through this game when I uh, when I inevitably play through this game again, I can tell you one thing: I'm not going through this place again. It's boring, and I don't like it. Hooray, treasure chest! Yeah, here I make a stupid mistake in terms of my fairies. For those of you who know this game inside out, you'll know what I'm talking about here. Yeah, you can play the sun song to make a big fairy appear. And I was mis I mistakenly thought you could catch it in a bottle? Which, if you think about it, it doesn't make sense. This is a big fairy, not a regular fairy. Because regular fairies uh, he heal you all the way on their own. So what the hell would a b big fairy do that's so special? But yeah, I, I'm gonna have to go get another fairy at some point. I've never, I never actually, I've never needed the fairies so far, but, um, but still, I like to just have one just in case. Yeah, I should be able to get through the, you know, with all the health I have and all that jazz, I should be able to get through the rest of the game without dying. I mean, I've had some good luck there so far. Okay, so I guess I don't get all the keys? I, I could have sworn the guidebook said that there are nine keys. I remember saying there was a secret passage that gives you one key in addition to the eight keys you already have. And I've only gotten seven. Right? I didn't use any, did I? I don't, I don't know what I would use them for so far. I don't know. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. As long as you get all the keys, you come, you know, as long as you have... Honestly, you probably only need seven. Because I'm pretty sure there was still a locked door or two. That, uh, well, I guess eight, not uh, seven. 
I don't know. Just do what I did, and you'll get through just fine, basically. Or not, because this game's like, you know, t almost 20 years old. Hooray, I got all the rupees. Oh, no. I could have sworn I had over 450 before I opened that chest. No. Oh. Yeah, I, I have nothing to really spend rupees on. The only thing I have left to really spend them on is that little mini game of damps. Which, considering how random that game is, I'm really going to need all the rupees I can get. Because who knows how long it's going to take for me to be able to get that heart piece. God, I hate luck-based minigames like that. They really annoy me. More than they should. Now I got a bundle of arrows. Hooray for me. So yeah, um, not much left to talk about here. Getting the ice arrows. Mm. Yep, again, they're useless. They don't really have much purpose. They don't solve any puzzles. There's no enemies they're really strong against, I don't think. But it's nice to have them. And I am trying to 100% this game, so. Yeah, I did go by and get all the magic beans, if that means anything. I guess I should plant them all at some point. But I probably won't do that on screen, because that's boring to watch. Yep, that's it for I, I just try to get out of this maze and have uh, not a lot of luck. So I'm going to call it quits here. Next time I'm going to go to the spirit temple and complete the child navi section of it. And yeah, that'll about, that'll about be it. So see ya.